heart-wrenching to remember and impossible to forget. The time now is 7.30 on this Monday, September 11th, the 22nd anniversary of the deadliest terror attack on U.S. soil. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. I'm Fernanda Hernandez. And I'm Jasmine Wolk. And more than two decades later, we continue to grieve the thousands of lives lost that day. September 11th of 2001 is a day seared into history. We forever recall the honor and bravery showed by those who were there and leading the nation and the world in marking the anniversary is the National September 11th Memorial and Museum. Now there they will be holding a commemoration ceremony on the Memorial Plaza as well as an in-person reading of the names by family members. Six moments of silence will be observed throughout that ceremony to acknowledge when each of the World Trade Center towers were struck and fell as well as the times of the attack on the Pentagon and the crash of Flight 93. And back here at home to honor the lives lost that day, the YMCA of Northwest Louisiana is hosting its all-day commemorative stair climb for the sixth year. Our Fox 33 reporter, Mata Drain, joining us live from the Y on Knight Street with more on this very meaningful morning. Mata, good morning. Good morning, Jasmine and Fernanda. Well, we are here right now at the YMCA where participants have been coming in and out, reserving their 25 minutes to get on these stair climbers here and commemorate this moment of 9-11. Right here behind me, I have some equipment that they can actually come and put on if they would like to be able to partially feel what some of those first responders went through while they were climbing those flight of steps. And also, we have some um, pictures of lanyards of those first responders as well that they can put on and even take with them. Now, if you don't want to climb, you don't have to. You can always just come by and donate and sign your name and show commemoration as well as Mr. Goodman here with the YMCA has told us all morning long, you guys will be here and you'll be open. Let us know what was the purpose behind starting this event. Yeah, so really the purpose was just to remember 9-11, to give our community an opportunity to connect to this very important moment in our nation's history. Okay, sounds good. Now, this is going towards a great cause as well. You guys will be actually contributing some of this to the first responders here. Yeah, all monies we raise today, any contributions we receive will go to the Shreveport Bossier first responders. All right, now just from what you've seen, you know, during this time of us being here this morning, tell us about the impact that this is um, having towards showing the memory to those people who have lost their lives. Yeah, I think everyone who participates, you know, it, it's it's a deeply felt uh, experience. And it's interesting because everyone comes for a different reason. You know, maybe someone lost a loved one. Maybe someone just heard about 9-11 and, and, and wanted to pay respects but didn't know a lot about it and it's always interesting to talk to people who come here and participate. All right, sounds amazing. You guys, it's not too late. They'll be open all day until about 5 p.m. 9, 9.30 tonight. 9.30 tonight. Free and open to the public. Okay, free and open to the public, you guys. So come on by and climb these stairs and show, you know, your, you know, appreciation for those first responders and everyone who have lost their lives during that moment in 9-11. I'm Mata Drain for Fox 33 News. Looks like there's plenty more time to get involved. Thank you so much, Mata. Meanwhile, community members will gather at the Liberty Garden in front of the Bossier City Municipal Complex on Benton Road at 9 a.m. The keynote speaker is Lieutenant Colonel Oliver Jenkins. A Bossier Elementary student will read an essay titled, What is a Hero?